<laughs> I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, Coda, the board finally came. I asked Mike and Nikki to hang on to it for a little bit because uh, I wanted them to, you know, just show it off a little because it's Coda and it was winter and I couldn't do anything. But then the roads cleared up a little bit earlier and they still had my board. So I've been pretty excited about this. This is the second board that Coda's ever made for us. And I noticed this right here. Do you guys see these instructions? So I don't have a razor knife. I have a different one. So hopefully that's okay, Mike. <laughs> so we sent, when did we order this? Do you remember, Courtney? November. November. Now, hey guys, it doesn't take that long for those guys to ship. We worked out a deal. They were keeping it because uh, we asked them to go ahead and do that. Up even more. We're just gonna take out the dogs and get to it. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, <look at> <laughs> They got the shark wheels on it. I wasn't sure which wheels were coming, guys. Oh, look at that. They gave us space. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were doing that. Thank you. That's like Christmas, man. <laughs> oh, man, that looks so sharp. Mike, Nikki, you guys did awesome. This thing looks great. Okay, now we gotta go outside, we gotta ride this thing. Look at the wood. Can you guys see that? You see all the, they stained the wood and everything. Oh man, that is so cool. All right, let's go outside. Okay, so. Got the board out, I'm gonna head up the hill. We're gonna try it out. So Courtney and I are gonna try and get some video of it, maybe some pictures. Look, I already got a dirty mic. So let's see how these sharp wheels work too. Other than that, it's smooth. It still has flex with eight pies even. I thought it wasn't gonna have that much flex, Mike. Here you go, you hold that. <laughs> This is just a quick intro into uh, Mike's video. So we, you got to watch what uh, Courtney did and Ian did for uh, helping me make a video so that we could show you the board. I'm so excited about this board still. What I want to tell you is Mike, you know, he's a retired Navy fighter pilot. So, you know, they're kind of, well, you can tell by his hair. I mean, he just has like perfect hair. He has perfect aviator, you know, white hair. It, it just stays like that. It's, it's amazing. 
And so what he's going to do is he's going to test our board. But, you know, he flew old airplanes because, you know, he's kind of an older guy. And, you know, and he's Navy and he's he's a fighter pilot. So he's used to everything kind of being handed to him. And, and, and you know, then he just gets in the airplane and goes. People carry stuff to him. So that's why, you know, the video is the wrong way and a few things. Now, I'm just messing with you. The dude is awesome. He gave us some great video. He had some fun with the board before he sent it up to us. We asked him to do it and he did. And we think it's amazing. So we had to add it to this video. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is Mike from Coda Longboards, who made this phenomenal board and my other retirement board that you've seen in a lot of the other videos. And he is going to test my board for us. And then I want you guys to know something. This board right here, I bought this and I plan to bring it to shows. And hey, some of you might even get to ride it because I want you guys to know more about Coda. And then when you get a chance, the website will be in the link. Look them up so you can see what CODA even stands for. The military pride in this guy. And then I found out a connection uh, between some friends of mine and some folks that he knows uh, from our, our time in the military. So strong connection between the two veteran-owned companies. Uh, they're down in Denver, Colorado. Please go check them out. Tell them we sent you. Go over there and just say hi. They have longboard um, lessons for everyone. Uh, so you can go on there and learn what you need to. You want to get a nice board made. These are the guys you need to go do it. So ladies and gentlemen, Mike. Hey folks, as you know, we take the quality of our product very seriously here at Coda. And so I'm going to give you a rare glimpse into one of the things that we do before we ever send a board out to a client. We like to test it to make sure that it's exactly what they're going to want when they pull that out of the box we want to make sure it's high performance that it's riding the way it should and so i'm going to take out uh, one of our very special clients boards for its inaugural test ride now this board is stunning it's for a guy who's just absolutely badass good friend recurring client nick he's also the founder of permafrost beards and he's up in alaska so we have to be a little, uh, uh, we, we alter our procedures to make sure that we are riding this board and testing this board in the same environment as to the best of our ability that our client is going to ride it in. So I'm going to run you through that process. I hope you enjoy it. So here is this absolutely phenomenal board for permafrost beards, our good friend Nick up in Alaska. This is a gorgeous board and we're going to go out and test ride this keep your face jacket on and in order to ride this effectively we really need to get into the character of how uh, Nick and, and anyone else in Alaska is going to ride this so we know the environment so I've donned my my Sorrells here as close as I can emulate to how they may ride this board and because I'm follically challenged, I'm not really a, an eligible client for permafrost, but we've got to get into character in order to really understand if this board is going to ride the way it's supposed to. I've donned my own face jacket, and we're going to ride to try and get into the mindset of how Nick might ride this board. Now we've come to our high-tech testing facility, better known as Ruby Hill Park, to really put this board through its paces and see how Nick is going to be able to ride this board. So far, so good. Oh, I'm starting to feel the wind in my beard. It's beautifully. It even goes uphill. Look at that. That'll be handy in Alaska. I think this one is ready to go. Nick, it's on its way to you, brother. Enjoy. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, please click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Keep your face jacket on.